After the disappointment of exiting from the FA Cup at Hendon, the sports are in cup action again and looking to put things right against Kings Lynn in the FA Trophy. We caught up with Tommy Widrington at the last training session before the match to hear the latest and for once it wasn't raining. Tommy, Kings Lynn tomorrow in the trophy. Feeling confident? Well, I go into every game confident, you know, and I hope um, the fans see that in the teams that we pick. We always pick a team to try and win a football match. Um, it's a long old trip tomorrow um, and the, the players are well prepared for what's at the other end of it. I've been to Kings Lynn myself uh, and now it's a, a hostile place in, in a nice sort of way. You know, a good crowd um, and their team are flying. So I think it'll be a tough game. Anybody who saw our two games against um, both Waltham and, and Hendon will know, you know, just because teams are lower level than us, they're not to be taken granted and we certainly won't be doing that. We're giving them the respect they deserve. Um, we'll be hoping to be in the hat ourselves on Monday. What's the latest team news for tomorrow? Um, with a little bit of luck, Gary Hart should be available to be selected. James Walker still missing, as is Charlie Gorman. Could be could be involved on the periphery, but he's 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 edging to get back, or he's bursting to get back. But we just got to be a little bit careful with the damage he did when he dislocated his knee on the pitch the other week there. So um, other than that, we've had a little bit of a bug run through the club, really. Not just the players; it's been in, in amongst the staff. But with a with a bit of luck, we'll uh, we'll have them in shape and on the bus ready ready on Saturday. Looking at the bread and butter of the league, it seems very tight. Three points can take you into a playoff contention or drop you in a relegation place. What's yeah, your take on the last month's performance? Um, well, I've been I've been pleased with the last the last few games, to be honest with you. Um, and even in the games prior to that, when we were going through a sticky patch, there was a lot to be taken out of the defeats. So, bearing in mind how they came about, you know, um, I don't think there's any team that we've played that I've felt. You know, we just weren't at the races and weren't as good as them on the day. So there's been individual errors or lapses in concentration where we've where we've conceded games. It's not really been game plans, tactics, or formations. So that's been really encouraging considering the amount of change we've seen in the side. The late goal jinx seems to have resurfaced again. How frustrating is that for you and the team? It's very frustrating. I think it's not just frustrating for me and the team. It's frustrating for the fans. It's frustrating for the the chairman and everybody else. You know, we want to be scoring goals at the end to either cement a victory or get ourselves back in a game. Not for it to be done to us. We feel we've been on the wrong end of that a few times this season, um, and it's nobody's fault but by the people on the pitch. We've got to learn, um, and, and I think that therein lies the. The, the situation, you know, experience is a very, very hard teacher. It gives you, you know, the test first and the lesson afterwards. And we've had that lesson harshly taught to us a few times now. So the lads have, are working hard. It's not a fitness issue, definitely. I think it's just a lack of nous and wherewithal. But it'll come with the experience that they're gaining through these games. As part of your fundamental rebuilding efforts, you said you're looking to find a settled spine for the team. How close are you in that respect? Well, we we had a good spine at the side in the side at the beginning of the, of the season, you know, and unfortunately, with the for one reason or another, we lost three players out of that spine: James Walker, particularly to injury; Charlie now to injury; Danny Potter, and of course Josh Gowan. So. It's up to me to get somebody or get people back in them areas where I feel are as strong or as you know consistent as the players I've just mentioned to you. Our search is for, for players in all areas. If it improves us, well, you know, we look to try and introduce them to the squad. We know where we, we definitely need improving. We, our output at the front end of the pitch, whilst the work rate and their efforts being excellent, the goals per games isn't good enough and that's, that's an area we need to improve. And I can assure you, I am all over the place watching games on a nightly and after afternoonly basis to, to go and see the uh, potential recruits. In relation to your rebuilding blueprint, are you pretty much where you'd like to be with the players you have now? Well I think, you know, looking at the league as you said, it's so tight, you know, we we're a point or two away from being on the edge of the playoffs or a point or two away from being in the other end of the table. Now, promotion relegation on, on issues that I'm even concerned about this season, I'll be honest with you, I think it's a, it's a time for consolidation. There's been huge changes, not just to the playing staff, obviously the management has changed and I think the ethos of the football club's changed. We're looking to recruit from a different pool. Um, the average age of the side has been dramatically cut, probably over 10 years, and everybody knows that the, the finances are different. So, am I where I want to be? No. Am I near to where I thought I'd be? Yeah. Um, and will I get to where I want to go? Absolutely. So, I think, and rest assured people, well, it's easy to stand in front of a camera and tell you I'm going to go to where I want to go. I want people to believe that and come with us. So, you know, onwards and upwards, as I, as I say. That sounds extremely positive, Tom, and uh, I wish you well for Kings Lynn tomorrow. 
have a good day out of uh, the league action as such. And uh, fingers yeah. crossed. Thanks very much. Like I said, long trip up. Hopefully it'll be an easier trip back knowing that we're going to be in the hat on Monday. Great. Thank you. Cheers.